Welcome Let's back to Acadiana's Morning News with the Major Major. And you have some developments for us this morning as we've been talking about these school threats um, in Acadiana. First, it was Evangeline Parish School was closed there on Tuesday, back open yesterday, no incidents to report. However, yesterday at Beauchene High School, and that's in Arneville, right? It, Around Brancato, there. Brancato, yeah, Brancato, Arneville. Yeah, right. um, you know, because people are specific when you get to those outlying <laughs> mm-hmm. towns. Mm-hmm. This, don't, don't call this Arneville. That's the um, Poirier area. <laughs> anyway, it's out there somewhere. Right. Out there between Grand Coteau and Arneville. Uh, you uh, did have an issue yesterday, and some arrests were made, or at least one. Yeah, we we uh, received information uh, off of a Snapchat post um, of a kid wanting to do harm to himself. So we, we go out there, and precautionary, we're going to lock down the school till we find, uh, you know, that it's false or whatever. Uh, no guns were found. Uh, we're talking to him. But while we were there, the school officials um, conducted a search, and they found another student, a separate uh, incident, uh, found him with a knife. So, um, you know, you, you can't carry things like that on campus. So, um, unfortunately, he was picked up and arrested for um, carrying a legal weapon on school campus. Uh, so that was one arrest. Mm-hmm. Um, earlier in the week, uh, February 13th, we had a uh, 11-year-old juvenile stated he wanted to kill some friends. Uh, he was picked up from St. Ignatius. And then on the 19th, we had uh, North Central was on another lockdown for a bomb threat. And then again on the 20th, North Central, uh, someone wrote that they were going to shoot up the school. So, so we, we've been busy as far as everybody else in law enforcement. Yeah. Uh, and like we were saying earlier, we just urging our parents to talk to the kids and saying this is not a joke. This is not a game. Yeah. Do you think that maybe, you know, because we heard from several district officials right after, I guess it was the, it was sometime last week that we got the first one. Before it was Evangeline Parish. Okay, so uh, even before Tangipahoa? Yeah, around Tangipahoa time. But they said, look, we pretty consistently get threats. We can't take them all serious. However, after what happened in Florida... Do you feel like there is a, a, a need or a want to take them specifically uh, I, serious? I can right now? promise you this: uh, we take everyone serious. Yeah, I mean it is a, you know, in fact, it's so serious. They uh, Vanderbilt Parish locked their schools down, closed the schools. Now they have to go back. It interrupts the 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 learning of our children yep. also. Yep, and uh, they're going to have to make up that day. Aww. We will not. We will not. We will go and send out all, our whole team. To, to search that school, the fire departments, the, the medics go out there. And instead of putting our resources to actual real emergencies, we every 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 complaint, we, yeah. we're going to go full force. You know, it, it, even before Florida. We, yeah. We, we're just not going to um, because the delay and, and the, 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 the times that we don't believe it. That's the time that something right. happens. So you know, we it, don't do that. It, it almost makes you sit back and say, I mean, you're we're always very thankful for our first responders, but going into a school like that and having to sweep room by room, not knowing if a threat is real right. or not, has to be a little bit unnerving. It, it's protocols that, you know, we don't use our radio. And I mean, it, it's it's to, to open up everything to book sacks and stuff. It's, it's mm-hmm. very time consuming. So do you think we're to a point where, you know, we know about the Tangipahoa, uh, you know, depending on how it goes in court, the maximum fine is fifteen thousand dollars for terrorizing a school or a public place. Um, fifteen years, yeah, fifteen yeah. years as well, and that right. could be hard labor, not just you know country club jail. Um, what do you think a punishment should be? I mean, is there a way to deter these kids from doing it for fun? Well, I, I think they they uh, we were talking about earlier that uh, some some places just don't do anything with them. Uh, they need to honestly go through a, a psyche vow because that could lead up to something else next year. I mean, I understand that, oh, it's just a game, but who plays games like that? Mm-hmm. You know, so um, I think they need to, to maybe go to a psychiatrist and, and a mental health and just see, you know, maybe there's an underlying um, uh, thing that that happened. I know they say they're acting out, but why are they acting out? Yeah. You know, so uh, I, I believe they, they should do something to them, uh, maybe litter abatement. Uh, maybe a couple of days in the in the juvenile detention center. Something that'll wake you up. Not, huh? not ju- oh, that that'll wake them up. May, not just uh, slap them on the wrist and because it, it is not. A, I, I don't really care about the resources on on the money mm-hmm. because I mean that's what we're here for. But God forbid they do this and something happens that we yeah. have to pull our resources on something else. 
They need to be taught a lesson. Do you think yes. that shootings are different now because, you know, someone was uh, on with us this week who said, look, when you talk about some of these video games, guess what? You get more points for shooting someone in the head than in oh, the it, that is a, I'm, that I play the game. I, I love the games. I'm, I'm almost 50 uh-huh. and I still play these games. But, you know, I was raised in a different era. Um, yeah, they these games now are are very accurate. They're very, you know, I, I did a, um, I was doing a school talk one time, and I was explaining that I was watching a movie back in the day that was real, real scary, and I had a younger daughter at the time. Uh, she's twenty eight now, and it came on. I said, you know, watch this show with daddy, and she looked at this show was like that's stupid, that's not even scary, and it is. I mean. I don't want to say all the games do it, but they are desensitized now. Yeah. You know, back That's in the day, happens. I would never, ever watch this show. Yeah. I mean, I didn't sleep for weeks with uh, Freddy Krueger. Right. I, I would say, Unsolved huh? Mysteries. Just let right. me hear the intro to Unsolved Mysteries. And you pay no more sleep. It, it's just, we see it on TV. We see war. We see death and stuff. Yeah. And we need to um, uh, seriously look at where, where this country's going. And, and I mean, I'm not going to, like I said, just blame the games and stuff. Right. But some of these games are very accurate. I mean, it is lifelike and stuff. Uh, we, we need to sit down and talk to our families yes. and, and tell them this is real, this is not real. Mm-hmm. And, um, and if you make a threat, there are going to be yes. real-life real consequences. consequences. Yes. Yeah. So, and real quick, Crime Stoppers, big, anything big, anything we uh, need to know about? Uh, Thibodeau Electric and Lawtel, uh, they just keep on getting hit. We Aww. have a great video yeah. uh, of one of the guys. One guy covered his face, but um, uh, go to our Facebook page, uh, you can look on the websites of KTC and um, help us out. You know, East is coming. I you know need you some, need some. You need some cash. You need some chocolates. Anonymous. in your basket. You know. Major Eddie Zebedo, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Congrats. Can get Thank congrats you. on your award. That's really awesome. We love you. you. Um, if you think your week is going bad, uh, just be happy that you're not Mark Cuban and the Mavericks organization. We're going to talk about that coming up. Also, at seven thirty-eight, Jay Darden. Correct. Am I reading the calendar yes. right? Yes. Wow, all right. We're going to talk to Jay Darden. All right. Where are we in this special fiscal session? And what does he think is to come? Stay with us on Acadiana's Morning News.